am joined by Scott Tingle, NASA astronaut. You spent 168 days in space, correct? I did. How did you get from the Earth to the International Space Station? Well, I took the uh, Russian Soyuz, and uh, it's a wonderful system. It's uh, an old design, but they've been constantly upgrading it over the, the decades. Uh, very reliable, very robust, and uh, they've been doing it a long time. Very safe uh, system, uh, very quick. Eight and a half minutes up to low Earth orbit, and uh, and uh, just a few hours to undock and and, uh, and separate, and then uh, return to Earth. So a really nice system. We have come up with some new systems that NASA is using. Can you tell us a little bit about those? Sure. Uh, we're into our commercial crew effort, and we should start seeing those uh, those vehicles fly here soon. We're very excited to be able to launch off of American soil uh, to the uh, International Space Station. Uh, we have uh, the SpaceX Dragon that's uh, getting uh, ready to do their test flights and then have a crewed test flight up to the uh, space station. And we also have the Boeing uh, vehicle. Uh, that should uh, uh, be uh, testing right about the same time frame and again getting uh, getting our folks up to the space station. Uh, uh, we're very very excited to see this happen. How will those uh, vehicles be the same or different than the shuttle and the Soyuz? Well the shuttle was a magnificent flying machine like we all know. It was beautiful to watch it uh, take off and, and launch and then come back and land on a runway. Uh, the new vehicles will be probably a little bit closer to Soyuz because they'll be capsules. Uh, the uh, Boeing Starliner will launch uh, on top of an Atlas and then it'll come back and it'll land on land. And the uh, SpaceX Dragon will launch on top of the Falcon 9 and it'll come back and land on water. Now I hear that landing in the Soyuz is a little rough. It can be hard. They have soft landing thrusters, okay? but don't let that word fool you. <laughs> Uh, it's, uh, there's a reason why we've been flying Soyuz for so long and why we've relied on them when we had to stop flying our vehicle. And their system is very simple and very robust. And, and so some of the niceties, they traded away so that they could have a very simple and robust system. And they do. They land in the desert and it lands a little bit hard. But it could also survive a landing without the, softer, the soft landing thrusters as well because it's got some backup mechanisms in the seats that would absorb the, uh, the shock of, uh, of landing. But the parachutes come out, you're slowed down, things are very quiet, and then about a meter above the, above the ground, the soft landing thrusters fire, and then you hit the ground and it's uh, like a small controlled car crash. Um, a lot of dust, a lot of dirt, and you, miraculously you're there <laughs> and, it's, uh, and it worked just fine. How are the commercial space flight um, vehicles going to land? Uh, I, I hope it's a com more comfortable <laughs> landing. Uh, and, and you know, the American uh, design philosophy a little bit different than Russian design philosophy. Our vehicles will probably not be as tough as the, uh, as the, uh, as the Russian vehicle. So I do expect the landing to be a little bit softer. Okay, thank you so much for telling us about commercial space flight. We Thanks. appreciate it. Thank you.